Hey guys, this is Colonel Mikey Dog here, and today we're going to be reading a book. Now I'll have the book in the background. You won't probably won't be able to follow along, but just along. But you, but it's always good just to read it if you want. So anyway, let me just get to the right page. Sorry if I don't look at you guys because the camera's kind of weird. I had to use a reference point, so sorry if it's a little bit blurry. Okay, first, we're going to read my friend, my friend Lego Kids, and he goes to my school. Sorry if you hear any song in the background, that's just my dad banging on some drums. Okay. This is a tale of, I'm not going to say its name, but his nickname is Moth Boy the Third. Now, this is my friend, Lego Kid 4561s. Uh, I might not read part of it because of copyright reasons. He was 13 years old. He was a really big fan of music. He related himself to, um, one of the creators of Guardians of the Galaxy. He has a friend slash companion called Tree. Because he was green, he was only used for a torch and oxygen. Po uh, Monium was the metal Moth Boy's Moth Boy the Third sword was made out. The metal you can find on Planetarium. He lived on planet 23578900.1354269. That's a mouthful. He lives in a campground in a small trailer. One day while he was listening to the radio, he heard that there was competition for the most aerodynamic sword he w and he wanted to win it. Become famous and get a house and one for tree. So he packed up his belongings and left the trailer. Thankfully, he had a map, so if he, he, if he lost, he could get back. back. So him, Tree, him and Tree set off to find this competition. So they were off, suddenly Tree stopped. Moth Boy the Third asked, Why did you stop? Tree grunted. Thankfully, Moth Boy the Third spoke Tree. He, he, he sighed and paused his music. To listen, he heard fire. Unfortunately, Tree hated wildfires, so that they started to run. So they started to run, and they had to jump over rivers, securing their safety. Some of those were changed, actually, from my friend recently. So, good job to him. And then this is my book. It's called Attack of the COPD. There is guns in this. And no offense to the names I use in here. I just chose random names. And this is original, so do not copy. It was September 11th, a.k.a. 9-11. They dropped in via helicopter. They were on a mission, a bounty hunt, to be exact. Let me tell you. It was September 10th. 2016, an American team made up of five people, one Native American, two Chinese Americans, and three Americans. Their names are classified, but we are allowed to give their last names. Chang, Liu, Seal, Hopper, Lekin, and Hendrix. They were, all, they were briefed on the mission with different roles. Sorry. And they got news of a terrorist planning to attack on 9-11. What a surprise, said Seal. Well, better get to the chopper, Rooks, said Hendrix. Note to reader, they aren't really Rooks. It's Hendrix's thing he calls them. Two, into the field. As he lies in the grass, looking like a bush in his ghillie suit, Shang was given a, given, giving Team Sniper a port, support. Lekin looking after him with his tomahawk inside, already to fire. Colonel Seal's got injured. 
Hendrix brought him to safety and said, Ambush! To cover now! Two shots were fired. Two COPD enemies fell down to the ground and went into retreat. Then Lieutenant Chang, the ghillie, heard footsteps and gunfire from behind. Run! said Lekin as he fell to the ground fighting. Now Lekin is a melee expert. Let's move on. Here's what happened. They were dropped off and then they encountered enemies and took them out using tactical positions. Flank left, seal. And flank right, Lou, Hopper. And flank right, Lou. Hopper, Lekin, get behind them. Chang and me will take out, take the front and draw fire, General Hendricks said. They drew fire from the front. Enemy shot the reinforced wall behind them. They took out one and then hid in the cover of a desk. Hendricks flashed a light. And then the enemy, and then the enemy, and then, th and then the rest of the team fired from all directions. The enemy was finished off. In their success, they continued their mission. They went, They then went to a spot with enough hiding for Gilly, Chang. The two assaulters, Hopper and Seal, went behind Hendrix and Lou, the shield supporters. While Lekin and the me melee experts stayed behind, ready for someone to sneak up upon them. Then at the COPD temporary base, they had security cameras and found them. Back to the action. A bullet landed right in next to Lieutenant Chang's shoulder. He got up and ran and pulled out his sidearm in a hidden spot. But that didn't stop the enemy. He fired upon Chang as Chang fired blindly. We are getting fired on from behind, said Chang. And a minute later, Chang heard a thump. Seal came to help. When they looked at the enemy, he was alive but passed out with he ER assault rifle bullets in his shoulder. And then when they looked at his record, they found out he was feared. He was the feared bounty hunter, Shuang Zulan. He joined the COPD one month ago, said Seal, and they made their way to the exit. Hendrix greeted them, saying, What happened back there? Are you okay? What happened to Lekin? They answered sadly, Lekin is out of the picture. Hendrix replied, Oh, sadly. But are you okay? Ch Shang turned around and there was a magnum bullet, aka a pistol, in his shoulder. Hendrix then said, Let's patch this let's patch this up quick. We need your help, Medic Hopper. Hopper came out over and sur surgically removed the bullet. Ah! said Shane, who was in the pa in pain. Then Hopper stitched him up and covered it with a bandage and said, "Get some rest. You'll need it." Shane replied, "Okay, sir." Sadly, and then returned and then rested on a rock. Extraction. This is the part I haven't finished yet, but I'll just read it right now. They hid while being fired upon. Lou dra dragged Chang and brought him, brought him to safety. Hendrix got hit one time and skinned twice. He almost passed out from the fear of death. Hopper was patching up the injured teammates. When Hopper was taken down, No! yelled the team as they fought back in retaliation. Let me back up a bit. They, they, they when Chang yelled in pain, they revealed... When Chang yelled in pain, they revealed their location, which made them vulnerable to the COPD. And they, they ran into the field, flanking them from three sides. Back to the action to be continued. And first of all, I'm going to do a song. I don't know a guitar song, but I'll just make one up anyway. So I'll be right back when you get ready. Okay, so here we go. Oh, thank you guys for joining me today in this video. Now I'll shout your names out. Mr. Awesome Foxy. Thank you for being a supporter. Thank you, Creeper Reaper, for supporting me and also be being here for me. Thank you, Spaz in Georgia. Thank you, Toasty Apple. Thank you, Dark Kitty Neko. I thank you all for joining me today. Lazy Gaming and some more. I hope you all had good
good time watching this video. I just made the song up as I go.